fascinated by the night night photography. Mm. So like I'd go out to to with a couple of mates out to a disco or something, yeah. or even if it was just a cafe or a pub, and we'd sit down. But so like I'd find try and if I went to a pub, it was always bloody dark. Yeah. You know, the, the lighting was always terrible. Uh, we've been talking about doing some paintings to, well, we had these Canadians walk through, and they were from a, a, a artistic um, magazine. So they, they did the walk through, and they were going to do a story on the place. But that's weird because they also had these uh, two blokes there that were, uh, <laughs> they, 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 looked, they would, uh, they were builders. So I, I spoke to one of them quickly and he said, well now we're looking, or we're trying to get a few ideas for um, buildings. And he said before they came over here they, they, they're sort of like on a, a scouting mm. of uh, scenery to, uh, because where they come from, they were building uh, fishing huts and stuff yeah. when they started out. The art, art school, we all came down for exhibition and uh, uh, we had our own art parade mm. and up the road in, in the uh, we had the big show up in the um, gallery up the road, and that was a big, uh, big deal because people. There were there was a mob that came through, did a walk through here, and they they were at the exhibition, and they just wanted to talk to us because they were they were doing uh, trying to pick up artists, go back with them. Uh, so they were just picking our brains and just seeing how we work so they can do this uh, exhibition thing that they decided on. So they were looking at our paintings and sketches and stuff. No, I was Adelaide. in Adelaide, Adelaide. You was in Adelaide, eh? Yeah. I'm actually thinking of going back there because I ran to a, a couple of blokes that lived there mm. and they knew exactly what I was talking about because they they lived uh, one couple of suburbs over from where I was in Glenelg. So I knew exactly, we, we bloody hit the nail on the head when we were talking about Adelaide. But uh, yeah, they were pretty keen to I'd try and get me together with me to see what would happen if they had did a photography thing down there. And uh, yeah, and I showed them some of my paintings and stuff, and sketches. And they had this this idea about well, see, in in the city there was this uh, small gallery in there yeah. in the, in the heart of the city. I used to go in there because I had a mate who worked there. Think about going home for a while, but I, I need to talk to them and let them know that that if I want to leave, I can because money-wise, you know, I'm, I'm set. I'm just getting that need to make a money move mm. sooner or later because I really can't sit around here all the time and they know it. So when I'm ready, I'll just check out. They actually caught some idiot the other week on the roof because <laughs> they chased him. He was out here and then they were confused because they couldn't find him 
Under the bloody roof. Are you going for police? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, the cops turned up and they were everywhere. So, but it took them forever to, the idiots to realise where he was, because they were too busy standing around, outside and inside, trying to double guess each other about where he was, whether he was still here or hiding in the rooms or <laughs> they didn't on the rear. Yeah. <laughs> he was probably up there laughing to himself. Well bring pay for you. Mm-hmm. If your faith doesn't come like the Alexander or Malachi. One yeah. of the youngest. Yeah. Any final words for Cheryl? <laughs> Don't overthink things, just take it as it comes. And if they stuff it up, <laughs> go for them. Any quotes for you? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, not that I can think of. Well, maybe if I had a few beers, I could have had something for you, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs>